Hey guys, me on Tubby Smoker, and I'm going to review X Men Red Volume 1 The Hate Machine. It's really dumb. Or the Ultimate the X Men Red. Now, when this series first came out, I know a lot of people did not like this book. You get, oh no, this book is actually not which It's not. This book, in my opinion, is doing X Men story that done just it. And yes, this book does do Jean Grey, but they have to get a good reason why she, why she came back. Why? Well, you'll find out. Anyway. Oh, by the way, I, I'm I was crazy with all your looks bad, it was amazing. So yeah, this will be fun. Anyway, then. So, I do my bonds. Great, 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 great story. See ya. All right, um, as you can tell from my intro, so you can tell you love this book. Why? You'll find out. Let's get started. Um, what the big of X Men Red Volume with the Hate Machine? I'll tell you. <gasps> Jean Grey is back and recruiting her own team of X Men. Yep. We born into a world very different than she remembers. Jean Grey gathered allies, including Nightcrawler, Namor, and the old Arnold Wolverine, aka Laura. Yep. To combat a growing anti mutant movement and find the tear down Xavier's dream. Jean had a vision and a, a plan. But first, her Red Squad must infiltrate a top secret compound to save a mysterious new mutant. But in China, yep. Avoiding guards with high tech weapons, protesters with burning hate, and gigantic mutant killing center robots. It's all in a day to work for the X-Men. But Jean's newest crew will be the key to the whole team's survival as battles break out across India. Gambit finds himself caught up in the intensifying global frenzy of mutant hate and, as well. But could one Jean always find because they already fell? That'd be the part of the show. All right, now going at the end of this book, as you all know, I'm a huge fan of Tom Taylor. I love Tom Taylor. I mean, Tom Taylor, I'm a huge fan of the X Men story. I love Betty the Injustice. Well, it was Injustice Year One, only the Year Three, and Injustice Two. Um, I love Betty the X Men one. It's been all the Wolverine. All the Wolverine is with Fantastic. So, I just heard about heard about the book. I'm sad now. So, after we read this entire story, what's my conclusion? This story I'm doing, I'm be bad. Who is it? This story is amazing. All of them. What's that? What Jean Grey was said. Okay. Jean Grey, my man, is very excellent actually in this book. I am in for I love Tom Taylor's writing, and he gets Jean Grey's emotions. It's been with it's her coming back to life, talking to Old Man Logan. It's pretty cool. But Tom Taylor's writing, Jean Grey, has to be excellent, my man. The writing, my man, is superb. The all my man, is amazing. In fact, my best part in this is the all my man, is fantastic. Like, this is all a talented, but back in A. Plus. Um, uh, Astro, uh, 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 Alexa, oh, Teen, they do amazing work. This is all really gorgeous. Fantastic. Look at the story, so, all right now. I don't even know, I'm a huge X-Men fan, and I'm a huge bit of a little Jean Grey fan and a Laura fan, so why why I hear Tom Taylor was running the X-Men Red book, I understand that out. So, like I said, after reading this book, I think this book is mine still holds up. It has a great story with Jean Grey being uh, something that's true, but there's a good reason for that, because she tired of hate, and she wants to, well, do it her own way to spread the love. And that's pretty cool in my opinion, I do love that message, it's pretty awesome. Speaking of the, uh, of uh, like our uh, old favorite old enemies. We are going to return out there of an old enemy, Cassandra Nova. Who? Who's Cassandra Nova, you might about to ask? Well, uh, she's complicated. Okay. Short version, she's Professor X's uh, talking to his sister. Kind of. It's complicated, I know. Cassandra was one of the characters I don't know anything about it whatsoever. I don't know her history. So, yeah, if, if you want to go into the blind, You'll be extremely lost, but you don't, you don't really know what the details are about her. But you see the great more than creation. That's all you need to see. That's all you need to know. Speaking of badass moment, you know, let's, let's get to Laura and Gabby. Laura and Gabby comes to my opinion, but it's so adorable. In fact, that's my favorite part in this entire story. When you see Laura and Gabby team up to fight the Sano, it's pretty awesome and badass. That's my favorite part in this, in this entire story. They have all these um, X-Men ready to team up to fight this kind of threat. It's pretty cool. Oh, Spig actually has supplied basically stuff in them. Well, let's get the Sentinites. The Nanites basically created by Xana Nova. Okay, one thing her is conjured up with those Sentinites, in my opinion. I thought that was a very bad idea, but in context, it actually makes this guy kind of sense. It's actually a great plan. Because why, why not stop not, not creating an army of mutants, just do Xana Nova and mind control in a way? And in a way, that plan is actually kind of genius. That's not what Cassandra Nova is a villain at the end of the entire book. She's tactical, smart, very deadly, very lethal, and in my personal opinion, one of the best things in the entire book. Like, Cassandra Nova is a great villain, in my opinion, for X-Men Red. It's pretty awesome. 
and all my extra blue has to do with the title. Now, so this book is just straight to the point. That is how this book so much. This book only gets straight to the point. It's bad, it's awesome, and knows what the hell it's doing. It's that, dude, it's coming with X Men, like, nonsense. It just gets straight to the point, and I love it. Oh, by the way, you're probably wondering you want, want, why I'm not talking about a political subject with this book. Well, here's the thing about that. I don't give a damn about that. Look, I get, I get, I get the question with this book. Some people saying that the, the whole maybe anti, not anti museum, but the whole, but anyway, like, like, against hate thing actually is propaganda or none. But I disagree with that completely because look, yes, man, they always been political. Let's face it, but like, actually, I've been putting them day one ever since the grand sixty. So. For the critical message they give this book, I don't give a damn about that. I don't care. I just want a good story. And what I get is a good story. This team is awesome. She's badass, and I haven't seen Nemo in this book, too. It's pretty cool. That Nemo got to get the help, I actually, all of a sudden, the X-Men. pretty cool. Speaking of that, Karen, I do go, well, what's it to new character, um, Trinary? Trinary is a very interesting character, in my opinion. She knows that she has to be able to control the machines. Well, that's pretty cool, in my opinion. Well, she actually helped out the Dean Grey and the rest of the X-Men deal with the Sentinels. Back, my, my part in the time at the book in my opinion, when you can see all the costumes, it's pretty cool. You can see like Gordon, Gabby, Nightcar, Jean Grey, um, Storm, and Nemo, all the costumes, pretty badass and awesome. I got pretty part in the inside, but when you see all the X Men in the costume, you seem to kick some ass, it's pretty awesome. I think we can get in this book too, pretty cool. Um, let's talk about the story. Hmm. I think it's very good to my spoilers. Oh, and um, what else? Oh, by the way, you're probably wondering what, what, why, why Jingle wearing a new, a new costume now with the look. Well, I'm about that. You wonder why Jingle came back to life. Short version is, it's we finished our direction, but you don't really read that book. That book is the same point as the waste of time. Just skip it. Oh, by the way, did Omar Logan get to show him in his book? He does. Only, only for one, one, one issue, and that's right it. And then he, he's gone. Yeah, the only looking thing in my band did during the time you know, all, all new Marvel Now 2.0 stuff, so yeah, you don't need to worry about that. Just ignore it like I did. Trust me, it's not where your brain power does the thing on ultimate reality stuff. It's a mess. But anyway, let's have an issue. I mean, the story. I think we're going to get too much boys. Alright, um, we got this set. What's that give X Men Red Bonnie One the Heat Machine? I get this trip out here during recently. Five, 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 and eight foot. It's an X-Men fan with me, read this book. If you're a fan of actually of X-Men Red, read this book. Show me the thing. If you want to bet X-Men book story out here in a year, I love this book. I love Tom Taylor. This book is excellent. This book is awesome. He's badass. And my opinion being, this book might be way better X-Men Gold, X-Men Blue. Yes, I, yes, I know this one in my opinion does get cut short due to the whole Hickman stuff. Well, not Hickman, more the, the December stuff that happened and then Age of X-Men. Oh, Age of X-Men is garbage. Like, what the hell? What the hell were they thinking? Like, kind of book of garbage. But that's not what I'm talking about today. Point, I may, I may read X-Men Red. If you really want to get X-Men Story, read this book so you can hug a minute. By the way, this book does not have the Hickman stuff, so if, if you want to know about the Hickman stuff, I recommend you read Power of the Bay, but that's not what I'm talking about today. Anywho, um, there may be X-Men Red Volume 1 Heat Machine, um, it's supposed to be possible, um, pretty, uh, kind of to you by the amazing book. Do you walk into it? Oh no, how do you feel about the MG Gun New Content? How do you feel about this new team? How do you feel about X-Men Red the whole? Please don't comment below. Also, like my Facebook page, follow on Twitter. Please don't subscribe to my channel, follow on Twitter Star, click the bell icon, get out of motion, own story. Please give me the can, I'll talk about it. Long live X-Men Red. Woo, see ya. Bye. X-Men. X-Men. Woo, see ya. Bye.